Welcome to the Okanagan Garden Report. Uh, here we are in uh, early February and we're just uh, getting into prime pruning season. So uh, this week our plan is to uh, just uh, talk a little bit about some pruning. And so here in the background we've got uh, a, a Wygala shrub and uh, these plants are sort of a cane type shrub. So they have this uh, really nice uh, branching habit. This is an older version but we always want to make sure when we're doing some pruning at this time of year this is a good time to get out. We can see inside the plant. And generally what we want to do is selectively remove some old wood and allow some of the new wood to come in. But cutting off the tips of the branches is not usually a good idea when it comes to these larger cane shrubs. Uh, generally we're best to just selectively remove uh, branches as needed to help to achieve the shape we want. Out here, uh, we're actually shooting out here in Winfield uh, by Wood Lake. And it's quite a beautiful day today. The, we the weather is mild. For February, it's great because it's only, uh, I think it's like plus five or something today. The snow's melting. So it is nice pruning weather. But again, with cane shrubs, selective removal of branches to achieve the shape you want. Um, and other types of plants like with trees, right now we're looking at a, a, a quite a bit of tree pruning. Uh, there really isn't anything to hold back on. This is a great time to do it. Fruit trees are really, really important to do it this time of year. Uh, soft fruits, they even say, you know, starting about middle of February into March is fine. Uh, just because we can get a little bit of frost damage on some of the shoots. Uh, but as far as all your ornamental trees, you can go ahead and do them right now. This is good timing. And uh, just really important to pick up a, a few tips on pruning. And uh, what we can do is uh, we'll just have a look at a couple trees over here. And uh, I can give you a few pointers right away. So if you want to follow along. <clears throat> so over here, there's, this is a big old uh, horse chestnut tree here. And uh, it's got some great, uh, great branches and some great buds. I'm just going to pull this down here and maybe we can uh, get a little close up on this to see these beautiful buds. And some people think that in, at this time of year that they're, they're prematurely swelling up and getting ready to burst. But the reality is, is that these buds are in their winter form. They've got big scales that cover the buds and that's protecting that bud from desiccation and freezing and anything that could possibly damage the bud, even insects, that sort of thing. There's not a lot of insects around in the winter time, but there are a few sucking insects that'll come around. And within the next few weeks, I'll be talking about the insects, how they migrate to these buds and get ready for the, these bud scales to drop off. And as soon as they drop, the insects get in there right away. But trees like this, uh, the number one thing we do with ornamental trees, and we really want to keep that separate, ornamental trees and then fruit trees not much the same the, the prune completely different today with the ornamental trees we want to look at the tree and we just want to really focus on making the tree healthier so when we prune ornamental trees we prune them to make them better not smaller so if we're pruning for size we have to be really really careful and really really skilled to do a good job of it and it is it's very difficult the main plan with any pruning of ornamental trees is to remove the dead wood the diseased wood or any wood that's damaged or cracked or broken you want to get rid of that uh, any potential problems uh, that might be occurring with the tree but don't overdo it Every bit of wood that's alive and healthy on a tree is critically important for that tree's health. So often when you prune a tree, if you do it right, you generally don't have uh, much of an effect, meaning that you look at the tree and you can just barely tell that it's been pruned. So you can tell someone who's a really good pruner, when they're done, you just look at the tree and it looks fine, looks great. When you start seeing the tips and the branches all chopped off and big stubs and stumps and you can see a lot of cuts in a tree, then you're starting to look at maybe that tree uh, needs more work. Once a branch is cut off, like if somebody cuts a branch in half somewhere and leaves a big stub, that's considered a damaged branch. So according to my rules there, I just said uh, dead, diseased or damaged. That, that's damaged. So that has to be removed. So you have to be really careful if you do a bad job of a pruning, uh, pruning a tree or something, you're going to run into a whole lot more work in the future. So always, uh, always uh, have, have somebody in your hip pocket, a real professional, somebody you can ask questions to. Um, learn as much as you can about pruning prior to uh, any of the work that you do. There's many videos available. We have more videos available on pruning and partake in, uh, in some pruning seminars. Really, really highly uh, recommended. So that's it uh, for this week. Thanks very much for tuning in and uh, keep watching for our weekly reports.